Okay, lesson two, 9.2 is called reflections. Okay, so reflection is when you, you flip an object. Okay, so here's my object and I flip it over that line. Okay, so this one would be across the y-axis, a vertical line, or this would be like an x-axis, so then it's a, a horizontal line of reflection. So it goes from up there to down there, and then this goes from a left to a right movement. Okay, so um, if you change points, so let's say this is the point negative two, three, okay? If you flip over a y-axis, it means you're changing the x value. So this is now the point two, three. So in other words, this is what happens. You don't ever change the y value. The height stays the same. You're just changing the left and right which is the X. Okay, so then let's look at a reflection here. So on a graph, let's pretend this is a five, seven. Okay, then what would change, right? I'm not changing my left, right moving, I'm changing up and down. So the new point would be five, negative seven. Okay, so then what's happening? is the X is staying the same and now the Y is changing. Okay, so it's like an opposite rela relationship. If you flip over the Y axis, your X changes. Flip over an X axis, your Y value is changing. So you're basically saying, so if I look at a X axis, a Y axis, so if I'm saying that a point is up here at seven, right, then when you flip it, it also has to be the same height off. Okay, now we go into the trickier ones when we flip over diagonal lines. So this is the line y equals x, and this is the line y equals a negative x. Okay, so what happens now is your x and your y change around Okay, but then you have to play around with the, the negative and po negatives and positives. So understanding this quadrant, your x value is left, so it's negative, and your y value is positive, because it's up. And in this quadrant that you're going to flip to, we're going to flip into this quadrant, or, sorry, okay, we're going to flip down here. So we're going to change some points. Okay, so negative one, five. Okay, we're now going to flip that around. So we're gonna be going five in an X mat matter and negative one. So we just change the X and Y around. See the line Y equals negative X, that's what we're doing. Okay, so then this point is negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative seven, height of five. It's now going to be five, negative seven. And then this point is at negative nine, comma two. So now the new one is two, negative nine. Okay, so you can see that the X and Y just flipped around. And then, do you know how I can always tell if you're right? I make a crease. So I fold my paper and I look and I say, do they sandwich together? Okay. Okay, now let's look at what happens here. So let's see what the point B is, is one comma five. So what's B prime? negative five comma negative one. Okay, so now you can see 
that they switched around and then they also negated. Because this quadrant, your x is positive, your y is positive, but down here it's left and down, so then the points will be negatives. Okay? So you just have to kind of remember what quadrants you're going to. So here, your quadrants, you have positive x, up, positive y. Here, you're left, so negative, up, positive. This quadrant, you're left, you're down. This quadrant, you're right, and you're down. Okay, so that's what's happening in each quadrant. Okay, right, left, you got your ups and your downs. Okay, and so flipping around the points, but also remembering what to do with positives and negatives. So C is 3, 2. So our new point for C should be flipping that and negating. So negative 2, negative 3. Then this point is 1, 2. So the new point is negative 2, comma, negative 1. Flip them, negate them. Okay? So this diagonal is a straight flip. So xy becomes yx. That's what happens. And for this diagonal, your xy becomes negative y, negative x. So they flip and negate. Okay, that's practice time for lesson two.